All right, welcome to part two on understanding transits in human design. What you see behind me is the current transit for the date that you see above, May 27th, 2024. And so this is showing you, this is showing all of us the collective energy that we're all experiencing right now. And this chart is based on these placements here. These placements represent a map of the sky for the date you see above. So as you can see right here, the collective has an entire channel transiting, which isn't always the case. And when there is an entire channel transiting, meaning there are two activations that reach the harmonic gate, okay? So you see gate 16 and gate 48. You'll find both of these in that column. 16 in the sun, 48 in the south node. Because both of those are activated by this transiting date, then the energy centers on either side both become active as well. So whether this is defined in your chart or not, as a collective, we are all experiencing this energy around following our intuition and taking action from it. And this specific channel teaches us how to take our natural gifts and apply them with determination. So understanding the collective transit does give you a lot of information about what might be happening for you and everyone right now. And the way that we look at a transit chart is to see what else evolves based on adding your natal chart to this transit. So I'm going to show you a sample natal chart. It's not a real person. It's all information that I made up. And I'm going to show you one of the activations that occurs for this specific individual and what it means for them. But before I do that, I want you to take one last look at this chart and see how 25 here is a hanging gate, okay? So 25 is activated by Neptune in this transit, and the chart I'm about to show you does not have gate 25 active. It has the harmonic gate 51. So serendipitously, this chart that I completely made up has the same active channel as what's happening in the collective transit, which means what this person always experiences they're having some resonance and some understanding from the collective in this now moment. But before I change the screen, I mentioned to take a look at that hanging gate 25 in the collective transit. And now you see this chart has a hanging 51 in two placements. That's why there's two colors coming out. So when you have a hanging gate and the harmonic gate gets activated by the current transit, now both energy centers light up as well as the channel. So if this person were to look at their transit chart, they would see that they have the channel of initiation active and thus a defined ego center and a defined G center. Based on the placements in this specific chart, as well as the placement in the collective, I would say that the initiation that this person is experiencing is probably somewhat of a spiritual awakening with gate 25 being in Neptune in the second line. And because it's their gate 51 in the south node, this shocking leap into the void is pushing them from the environment they've become comfortable in so that they can get more aligned with their purpose, which is in gate 57, the north node. So something unexpected may be happening for this person during this transit that helps them actually tap more into their intuitive clarity. And that's the gate 57 located in their spleen. As you can see, reading transits and putting all of the pieces together manually can become a little bit overwhelming. I personally use an advanced reader software called Genetic Matrix. With one click, I can pull up a foundation transit and it puts side by side my chart, the transit chart, and then the combined chart in between. This is my favorite software by far because it also combines astrology and human design, or it has the potential to. There are a lot of different types of charts that you can look at, including sleep chart, BG5, or the business side of human design. You can look at astrological natal charts. You can divide up the charts and look at your design separately from your personality. It's a whole new rabbit hole. So if you're interested in trying out that software, I'm pretty sure I have a code. I don't know, but <laughs> if I don't, I'll get you one. But in the meantime, as I say, please take advantage of all of the free resources that you can before you go investing, because there is so much to learn in the human design world. Reminder, this is the feelgoodexpert.com. Every day, the transit is current and up to date on the main landing page of my website. And then when you type in your info, you'll be able to see your natal chart. The second thing I wanted to mention about transiting energy is that people can transit in and out of your life and create impacts as well. This chart's a little bit easier to look up on my website. It's cut off here, but right at the top of this chart, you would see a little button that says relationship chart. 
this gives you the opportunity to type in a second person's info and what I just described a moment ago where you see one chart, another chart, and then a combined chart, that does exist in the context of relationships on my website. And so very similar concept, you would see where there are harmonic gates, where there are new activations, where there are new potentials, where you would experience chemistry in that relationship, companionship, dominance, compromise, it, it shows it all in that relationship chart. So that is another way to understand and measure transiting energy. If you've made it this far, please drop a comment and let me know what specific questions you might have if I offered a free masterclass on relationship charts.